Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jerick, and today we're back in Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. This is episode 48 of our playthrough. And in our previous episode, we detected an anomaly and went to check it out. A warp storm was centered on a planet directly, which meant that something big was going on down there. Brother Ektar had volunteered to bring a squad of Marine of Knights down and deal with the situation. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough unwounded Marines to form a squad, and so that option was off the table. Uh, we did decide to stay and take a look and see what was going on, and so we went entered orbit to do some scans, and then the warp storm flared up and basically ate the planet, uh, damaging our ship again in the process, which put us down to one hull integrity out of five now. And that puts us in kind of a pickle, or put us in kind of a pickle at the time. Um, so we were going to be moving to do some more missions, uh, but we had a Death Guard cruiser in our way, and we had two warp storms that we had to contend with to get through there, and with one hull integrity left, I didn't think the odds of getting through were really that high in our favor, and so we kind of moved around a little bit, avoiding the cruiser while we were trying to do some, uh, get, get some repairs done. Uh, we were at the point, at that point, I think we still are working on getting the, um, getting the, uh, inquis uh, sorry, the, uh, servitors back up and running where we're producing servitors. And then after that, we're going to have to repair the hull, which is going to be another 27 days. Uh, while we were doing all of that, the cure finished interrogating Kadex and Vakir's not looking good, guys. Not at all. She's in rough, rough shape, basically stretched to her limits. Uh, but she did see in his mind uh, the source of the bloom. And it is a series of roots that are directly embedded in the Garden of Nurgle itself that's feeding them. And after some deliberation, a plan was hatched to destroy the three prime seeds in the warp storm, where the barrier between the materium and the immaterium is thinnest and see if that would be enough of a beacon to try to get uh, Supreme Grandmaster Dragos to come and help out. Dragos has the Titan Sword, and if there's any weapon that we have that is able to cut the roots, it is the Titan Sword. And so the idea is we're trying to get, get his attention, get him to come to us so that we can go into the Garden of Nurgle and destroy these roots and the seeds there, you know, attached to the, you know, once we destroy the roots, the seeds die away, basically. And so that's where we're at. Uh, we had to search the warp storms to find a good candidate for a spot where we could potentially break through. And we have done that. And we are in the middle of a mission now. Uh, we have to get Vakir to the inner sanctum of a cathedral here. And so that she can destroy the seeds and hopefully dissummoning the uh, summoning. I keep saying summoning. It's not really a summoning. It's more of a beacon and a hope that he's going to appear. Um, but where she can get that done. And there are Noctilith gates all over this place here. Here's one here. There's another one back behind us. And bad guys are just coming out of those things uh, every turn. And there's nothing we can do to stop them. We can't destroy the gates or anything like that so we're basically just running at this point and so we've made it here we're at the steps the beginning of the steps that lead up to the cathedral itself and so we're going to have to get up to here and then into the cathedral and then into the inner sanctum of the cathedral so we got a ways to go yet we're maybe i don't know a third of the way into this mission uh it looks like roughly so that's where we're at um, at the end of the last turn, these two guys over here came in. We got a Terminator and a Chaos Spawn. And then also all of these Bloom Spawn Defender plants just popped up around us too. Uh, the nice thing about these, they're not that long of a range. This is the longest ranged one at 15. Uh, 15, if we can get up here to the steps roughly, that's going to be out of its range. And so we're going to be okay. So at this point, we are just running. We are not concerned at all about these plants or killing them or anything like that. We're just moving out here. So let's get this done. Um, I do want to stay something resembling a measured approach here though, just in case there's more bad guys up top there. I have ex just enough. Uh, I think I have just enough war points on the librarian to teleport us one more time. I do. Uh, the librarian's getting up here to this corner. That would actually probably have been a better place for Vakir. 
This better be worth uh, it. She can slide in right behind him here. Are you sure, Commander? Okay. Ready to serve. He's gonna be right up here. Moving now. Your command. As ordered. Okay, let's get up the steps a little bit here. Okay. We should be out of the reach of all those plans. Okay, we're gonna have to probably deal with him, unfortunately. <laughs> That's the, uh... Focus, Inquisitor Vakia. Stay with the squad. Her biosignature seems to be in flux. She is nothing if not persistent. This is the... She must prevail. This is the guy that we left behind before <laughs> he's catching up. Um, all right. So, a quick thing here. What is your I'm gonna will? do an astral aim. I'm gonna have to get closer to do it. Uh, I want to panic that big guy. Taking position. So he's got enough to do this. That's okay. So this is our. Uh, Guaranteed crit. Afflict panicked. He'll run away for a turn. Okay. And that basically lets us keep moving. I'm here to serve. Moving swiftly. Me. With me, my brothers. Your orders? As you command. I'm busy. Okay, we're going to have to go to the stairs on either side, one side or the other here. I don't want to go to this side because that's probably the... Uh... Let's get her here. Right. I am here to serve. Advancing! Will. 
Man must. And since he can go up the wall, he's going to be able to just catch right up. Second hill to the bloom's magnificence and its inevitable morbus. How? How many must have fled here in their final hours, seeking sanctuary from this madness? Millions of prayers cry out into the void, all unanswered by your false emperor. We will answer them now. Your wretched seeds will fuel our beacon of hope. Yes, yes! Keep that hope alive! I will savor its sweet essence when I feast on your soul in the garden! Rugen! As ordered! What? This big guy be banished by chance? Yeah, only immunity is to knock back. Doesn't say he can't be banished. He is demonic, right? Yeah, he sure is. Well, we might have to try that if he gets to be too much of a problem. I was already planning that. Yeah. My blade is yours. On my way. Alright, where are we going here? This looks like where we need to be. What is that? <laughs> Well, that's something. You don't see that every day, even as a Grey Knight. Praise the Emperor. As ordered. Yes, Commander. I'm concentrating. Yes, yes. Yes, Commander. Taking position. have to deal with that big guy next turn. Uh, we got two turns left of taking damage if we use psychic abilities. on the top of the days. That is where it must be done. 
Okay. Yes, Commander. We're going to scout this before we send her up here. Okay, looking good. Yes. Send her up. Um. All right. Bolter trained and ready. Okay. What? Your banish power. Range one. His resistance is a hundred percent. I think we just kill it. Unleash me. I'm gonna do a warp speed biomancy on him. Strike swiftly, brother. We're gonna lose some health here doing this, but. We don't need to do that. Can't really make him vulnerable very easily. Oh, you know what we can, actually? We can do an astral aim. Should have done this first. Depleted. Okay, let's get rid of this cl crab claw, probably. Okay, good. Got an extra action point left. Just 
do the damage at this point. Glory to Zyphos. How do you like me now? All right, Bakira, let's just say you get up here and do your thing. Complete the ritual. Three turns. Bakira must survive. I suspect we've got people coming in right on top of us. Putrid detonation. Everything explodes when it dies. All right, he's got just enough to get everybody up here. Where do I want to drop in here? Right next to him? Probably not, because he's going to explode. Let's get everybody in here. Gotta deal with this big guy. Okay, got his, got his point back. Let's have some skulls. Actually, that's about it. Okay, where are we at here? We have enough for one more astral aim. Uh, his biomancy's still going, right? Yeah, he's still got warp speed biomancy going. What is your will? Okay, let's inflict vulnerable. Plus 100% resistance. Well, we're definitely not doing anything to him now. No. Firing now! I strike true! Okay, let's just wait. You command. What is your will? Yeah. How are we doing for... Uh, we got three will points yet. Let's get rid of this crab claw. Probably should just go for the extra damage, to be honest. Taste my fury. The enemy is wounded. 
All right, librarian has one. Yes, commander. Brother Brugan probably should get this kill. What is your will? Yes, commander. I am here to serve. will no demon shall avoid its fate okay yeah he took a few points of damage there but it's okay as ordered Good so far. Bear them nothing. Okay. It is done. Knights of Titan, rally to me. This ritual is nearly complete. Cyphos! Yes, Commander. We strive. Okay. 
Inquisitor, I charged you to end this bloom. Why do I find you within this maelstrom of corruption? <laughs> I brought you here. Our goal was to reach you, Supreme Grandmaster. We cannot destroy the bloom without your aid. Speak then. The Grey Knight's archives describe your plight beyond the veil, that you know the way to the garden of the Plague God. Aye. My curse binds me to the Immaterium. The Garden of Nurgle is vast, but I have found my way through its confounding pathways before. The roots of the bloom, the source of its power. We know that they lie deep within the Garden, out of our mortal reach. It is no small feat to navigate the Plague God's domain, but the Bloom's stench is more putrid than all others. With luck, I will locate and sever these roots before my trespass is noted. We would give our lives to fight with you, my lord. I know it, Ektar, but I would not have my brothers share this cursed fate. You must yet hold the line until I can achieve this task you have set for me. As you command, my lord, we are the Hammer. In the meantime, look within yourself, Karth of Akir. Your strength is yet needed. Farewell. Okay. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take. This is interesting. Uh, good mission. Took a little bit of damage at the end there, but that's okay. We're all right. All right, let's get back to the ship and see what's up next. Gain some extra seeds. Not too many. A couple of each. Five purples. Five requisition. Minus five corruption. That's good. Uh, we have we're at seven available requisition. Let's see what we get. Rank two gray knight in interceptor. Ooh. Uh a silencer. Six base damage range, 14, three rounds. Plus one crit. Damage plus 10% crit chance. Those are both upgradable to 20% and two. Also damage upgradable to seven. If I use silencers, this would be a good one. It would, but I don't use them. They're just not that useful to me. Um, just the way I play. Uh, Crozius is five base damage. Already liking it. Upgradable to six. Um, four strike adds one damage. Normal stuff. Afflict vulnerables. Normal. 25% uh, per turn. Uh, enhanced litanies. This chaplain does not pay the will point cost to maintain an active litany. Um, yes. And upgradable with plus two max willpower. Yep. Yes, please. Terminator armor. Prodigy's mantle. Sorry, I didn't mean to select it yet. Um, it's only one armor. Oh, this is power armor, not terminator armor. Sorry, this is power armor. All right, so one a one armor, servo skulls plus two ammo, upgradable to plus three. Servo skull range is plus four. Um, and I, I mean it's nice, but I don't think we uh, we already have ten power armor suits. I think we'd have to give one up, which we could do, but it's not that nice. I'm not. We already have one that gives plus two uh, servo skulls. I don't think we want to spend that. Uh, Disruptor Skull Tier 2. Target an enemy at range 10, deal 4 damage. Armor piercing. Afflicted target cannot trigger their auto abilities. That's interesting. That is interesting. Because that's going to not cost any action points. That's free damage and a free disruption. I think we want that. And we want the Crozius for sure. I don't want the power armor. I, I, power armor's nice, but it's... I don't know. Servo Skull range is plus four. Knights have plus two ammo. I mean, we... Well, we can't afford it if we're getting the Servo Skull, which we are, so we're fine here. All right. Nobody gets any uh, <laughs> XP because everybody's at max.
suspect another cutscene here. He comes to you, Master. The fool needs to take you by surprise. Show me. You have done well, Kadex. I will have vengeance at last. The Carver will not leave this garden alive. No! It appears we are being watched, my lord. Hello. <laughs> That's it, Carter. Call your minions. You can all wait together. The demon alerted its master to our plans. How is that possible? I'm... Uh, I'm not certain. I believe it might have been during the ritual on Sir Krista. Cadex has retained some agency since I entered his mind. Agency? What agency? Taunts, uh, murmurs, voices I have ignored. <laughs> it has been a little more than that. Have we just damned the Supreme Grand Master to an ambush and death? <laughs> Precisely. I... Uh, no, Ektar. I only did what I believe necessary to advance our cause. Our cause now? Inquisitor Fakir, with one blow, you have turned all of our efforts to serve the aims of chaos. With your leave, Commander. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. I have failed us. Hector! Analyze! The Inquisitor is the only being with an erudite understanding of what we face. Without her, we are truly lost. Without the Supreme Grand Master, we have already lost. Denial. This act is reckless. The Inquisitor's biodiagnostics have not yet totally collapsed. So you would have us follow this traitor until she does? <laughs> this is too much. Like children. Rationalize. We have all been deceived. Counterproposal. We intervene on the Supreme Grand Master's behalf. Are your logic pathways fried, Dominus? No mortal can navigate their way through the Garden of Nurgle. No mortal? Silence! Your words have done harm enough. Ektar! In 987 years, I have not observed a Grey Knight falter in his duty. Yet you fear this? <laughs> Say your piece, Fakir. It is true. No mortal can find their way to the Garden of Nurgle, but... A demon will always return to its master. What? Yes. Cadex has burrowed into my mind. If you were to banish him, I... I might use that connection to track his spirit as it returns past the veil, back to its master. More conjecture. Support. Archival analysis indicates stellar coordinates can be transmitted via astral telepathy. Both of you now? Dominus, even if we gamble on the purity of her intentions, this notion barely amounts to a roll of the dice and a prayer. That is all I have left, Ektar. But what does the effort cost you? Another demon banished to the warp? 
What of your baleful edict? Are you so eager to see it fall into the plague god's hands? The edict will fulfill its purpose. I am a priest of Mars. Sentimentality is for the flesh. Fakir, your soul stands at the precipice. You have proven yourself stronger than any human I've known. But if you falter in this, even for a moment, I will have no choice but to cut you down. I would ask nothing less of you. Commander, you have led us capably since Agravain's fall, but in this our direction is clear. If we yet have hope to intervene for the sake of the Supreme Grand Master and put an end to this bloom, we have no choice but to pursue it. All right, research the purgation ritual. Oh, uh, we are stuck where we are. Four days till we get our augmentation chamber back. I don't even know if we have enough to repair the hull. Yeah, we do, barely. Because that's going to cost us eight servitors. We have ten. Whew. Talk to Lunette. You require a box exchange, Commander. <laughs> what do you think of Akir's plan? While the Inquisitor's logic seems legitimate, further scrutiny is required. Out of respect for your brothers, I will not generate the algorithm for predicting the chance of success. While the Inquisitor's logic seems legitimate, further scrutiny is required. What troubles you about this, Lunette? Do demon princes leave trails in the warp? If they did, the Mechanicus would have been aware of this notion millennia ago. But our time deficiency requires that we take the Inquisitor at her word. Discarding redundant communication cache. <laughs> the uh, Inquisitor's domination of the demon prince did not work as planned. Agreed. If only she had used the rituals I prescribed. You know how to dominate a being as powerful as that demon, Dominus? Not exactly. But my time aboard the Edict has made me privy to many banishments. They all follow similar routines and rituals. When I have cataloged and distilled, which I have cataloged and distilled into an algorithm for maximum success. The machine spirits ascent. Very well. Initiating power saving cycle. Okay, Vakir, what you got? I see you have come straight to me. Time is of the essence. You seem shaken, Inquisitor. The Demon Prince has found a weakness in my mental wards. He has warned his master. We are like flies entering the spider's domain, Commander. We cannot see the web. We must kill the spider. Yes, we must focus Say, Kadex on essential murmurs matters. within your mind. Oh, I think they gouge much deeper than that, my dear Inquisitor. I can hear him, but his taunts have no more effect on, than the babblings of a thrall. You realize you cannot be allowed to leave this vessel once we are done. My fate doesn't matter. Once the bloom has been cauterized from the sector, then the Emperor will judge my actions. What concerns you? I must return to my research. All right. 45 days, Purgator's ritual, purgation ritual. I mean, there's no point in researching this at this point, really. I, we're not able to use our stratagems anyway, so I, I don't see any reason to keep researching that. Maybe they'll maybe they'll break open again here. I don't know. We've got enough seeds to do it again if we have to, but I think we're just going to go straight for the end here. Commander, once the Inquisitor begins this purgation ritual, there is no turning back. The Demon Prince Cadex will be banished back to the warp, and we will have to follow immediately if we have any hope to find our way into Nurgle's garden and warn Kaldor Drago of the trap that has been set for him. Our time is short, but you must also be confident that our strike force is prepared for the challenge that waits ahead of us. The decision is yours. Let's do it.
Okay. Ritual's in progress. 45 days. It's a while. Lynette has more to say. You require a box exchange, Commander. Uh, this one we haven't seen. The machine spirits are restless due to the Inquisitor's purgation ritual. They despise what is happening to on the Edict. We have power spikes and coils to coil disruptions across several decks. Perhaps Nurgle's scrap code has infected some machine spirits, as I originally feared. Regrettably, I will need to purge certain cogitators to remove the taint. But that is for my thralls to carry out. Concern yourself with your mission, Commander. Discarding redundant communication. I think we've Agreed. seen this one already. If only she had yeah, we've seen that already. May the Omnissiah bless us with a favorable equation. Let's talk to Ektar real quick. I see you have maintained your devotional wards even in this time of crisis. Yeah. Very wise. Uh, how should your brother? How should our brothers prepare to enter the warp? Their faith ever remains their ages, Commander. They have all accepted that they will not return, but if they remain pure and diligent, their souls will be saved. However I can best serve. The Liber Demonica upon your breast glows. It will be the spark I use to kill the beast and send its flaming essence back into the realm of chaos. With glows with anger. I have been using it to exercise the incipient corruption pervading our ships since Kadex came aboard. It will be the spark I use to kill the beast and send its flaming essence back to the realm of chaos. I've not ever heard of the Liber Demonica being used in such a way before. It is an emblem of our faith, and in the hands of a Grey Knight, faith is a stronger weapon than any mortal blade. You should know all 666 words, and if you don't, I suggest you spend some time reacquainting yourself. Very well. What's the state? What state is the Inquisitor in? She is far from the pure minded exemplar that first boarded the Edict. But then all mortals are flawed, and even some transhumans outside our chapter have succumbed to their own frailties. The Inquisitor treads that path. I will not hesitate to end her should she threaten our mission, even if it brings back memories of Iconia. Yes, of course. All right. That's it. Let's ready ourselves for the trials to come. Okay. Uh, we're going to sit tight here until we have to move. Oh, good. Warp storms are burning out, I think. Bloom Spa detected two new missions. Good. Those warp storms both just blew out. That's excellent. Um, This one gives servitors. We'll probably go for this one. If we can get there without running into that Death Guard cruiser. Uh, this one is just requisition. Now nah, we need the we need the. Uh, well, I don't know if we really do or not, but we're going to go to here first. Completed repairs on the augmentation chamber. Now we need to repair the hull. Eight servers, 27 days. Okay, more going on. into the mission's next phase. Vakir has begun a ritual of banishment. When it is at its apex, I will purge the demon, and the Inquisitor will attempt to maintain her psychic connection with its departing spirit. In theory, she may sense its trajectory past the veil. If we dare pursue that signal into the warp, we may find the garden and locate Drago before it's too late. The odds of survival The odds are irrelevant, Dominus. Only in death does duty end.
Okay. I'm going to go here first. That way we don't have to engage this. We have a chance to get around the cruiser if it starts to move. Now we can beat it. Two new missions. Grimoires. Oh, another gate over here. Plenty of time to get to this. Well, not really. We'll be able to get to it. Oh, he's cutting us off. Okay, well, we're going straight for this then. Uh, it would be nice to have the servitors, but... Another Morbus Gate mission needs to be done. Oh my goodness, another two. Boy, they're coming non-stop now. There's another one down there. We're not going to be able to get to that one in time. Thirty more days. All right, guys, this will be minus three corruption. Uh, Akira's got to do her thing. Surprised we can do this with her. Um, all right, so that's going to be fine. Uh, we will jump on this next episode because we're getting right up on an hour here. I don't want to get this started. Uh, but if you've enjoyed this episode, do me a big favor, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.